evening, everyone. Hope, hope, hap, hap, what? Hope you guys are having a great uh, Tuesday. So right now, here in Texas, it is quarter till nine, and the sun is slowly going down. Yes, because in a few days it's going to be summer. And that was just a thunderstorm. It's we're expecting to have some rain tonight and possibly tomorrow morning. So yeah, it's gonna get a bit wet. But I'm not planning to go anywhere. So it's all good. So I got this package from Merchoid. Uh, remember last time I ordered something? Um, it was the Terminator 2 goblet, which I haven't used it yet, but um, there is some cocktails based on the series, so uh, I can't wait to make some. So uh, I think I know what it is. So uh, let's open it and see what's inside. Now, for the ones who aren't familiar, uh, Merchowit is a um, it's a website. Uh, for fans, by fans of different types of uh, uh, brands and uh, genres. So if you're into the nerdy stuff, this is definitely a cup of tea. Uh, they have one for Game of Thrones, Marvel, DC, I mean Rick and Morty. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're into that stuff. Open up this box. So let me just tilt this a little bit more. Yep, there you go. Yeah, this is my futon. Um, it's a bit messy. I do apologize. I'm Mexican, so I tend to be a little bit lazy. At least I admit that I'm lazy. Okay. So. Oh really? I, I had a feeling it was this one. Okay, so um, there are those occasions that there are some specials that are going on. And um, they tend to have a pre-order um, um, label. So I ordered this uh, like perhaps earlier in the year. In fact, to be actually honest, I order it. I pre-order it uh, back in January 21st. I mean, 22nd. I'm sorry, January 22nd of this year. I spent $58 for this. Obviously, free shipping. But uh, to be actually honest, I wasn't. Um, there's so much shit going on, I, I didn't really pay attention about this package until I uh, got an invoice from uh, Merchoy saying that, hey, you know, your, the order that you pre-ordered some time ago is coming your way. So, you guys want to know what I got? So, this is what I got. It is the... Jurassic Park Visitor Center Limited Edition Legacy Kit. That's a mouthful. Yeah, so, uh, so we have right here, we have basically the original Jurassic Park. There's actually a Jurassic World as well. It's a bit cheaper compared to the Park Edition, but um, we're, I'm going to find out what's inside here. Of why this is more expensive so uh, there is a lot of cool stuff in here I'm not kidding it is it looks really cool so <laughs> it even says here 1993 copies and then you got the sides and got that too and I think it's yeah okay 
It's, it's open it up. It's open it up. There you go. Now I'm going to be really gentle with this because um, it is one. <laughs> It is something that I really like. Okay, so. so like I said, this one costs $58 with free shipping and you get a Merchoid. Okay, oh, oh I, uh, I get a, a, a letter. Okay, and it says, uh, Dear Visitor, on behalf of the entire Injun family, I would like to extend a, world, a warm welcome to Jurassic Park. Okay. By visiting Isla Nublar, you are continuing a fascinating adventure more than 65 million years in the making. You are about to enjoy an experience like no other, a journey back in time to a chapter in history that man was not around to see with his own eyes. Please explore all the facilities on offer. We have worked hard to make your stay on the island an unforgettable one. All you need to do is sit back and enjoy the adventure. In this kit you will find everything you need to make your visit to Isla Nublar an experience of a lifetime. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And uh, most sincerely, John Hammond even has Supposedly the uh, John Hancock of uh, John Hammond. See, I could actually frame this if I wanted to. Okay, so what? What are we gonna get inside this box? What? What? What cool shit? Well, you get the license plate. Oh Lord Almighty! Oof! You know. I've always wanted to get, have one. I've always wanted to have one of these ones when I was little, when I was ten. And uh, even though I had no stupid ass car, just to have it hang or have it just displayed on the side was awesome. I don't know. I I think. Do you think it's passable to have this one on the uh, car? I think so. One way, to, one way to find out, but I am very, very nervous of putting this into my car and then some fucking asshole tries to take it. Alright, then we have a couple of uh, brochures. Uh, the Jurassic Park Night Vision Goggle Safety Instructions. Uh, sadly, you don't get no, uh, there's no, there's no goggles right here. I mean, it's impossible. I mean, I don't know how, but okay. So this is cool. It tells you where it's located at, how to turn it on, and uh, stuff like that. The do's and do nots. So uh, yeah, this is really cool. I could definitely see that um, possible. And then here, I'm assuming it's the map. Okay, you got the Jurassic Park entrance. And then we're just going to open it. Alright. So I'm assuming it's just, uh, just the general information in different languages here in English. And I'm assuming it's in... I don't think it's in Japanese. I think it's in uh, some other language. And if we unfold a little bit more, we get the map. The Jurassic Park map. I... Wow. Uh, there was this shirt. When I was... I think I was 11. I think. I believe when I was about maybe 11... No, 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 no. I think I was like maybe 12 or 13 years old. I used to know this guy named Alberto, and this guy, he wasn't really much of a bully, but he was a bit of a jerk, but he had this awesome Jurassic Park shirt 
that said Jurassic Park Island Tour and it had the raptor with the fan scene on it and on the back of the shirt there would be the map of Isla Nublar uh, eventually he got rid of it because I think it wouldn't fit on him or he just didn't like it because uh, I think by the end of the school year um, there was this salvation this box of donation this donation box and this donation box we used to give to um, um, like thrift stores so but you could still go dig in there and get whatever you want to you know as long as you didn't steal it uh, you could dig around there and just grab as much as you want and I saw him throw away that shirt and I'm like I think it still fits on me so I grabbed it and I cherished that shirt so much uh, I think I wore it at least once a month I think either once a month or twice a not twice a week I think it was like twice a month something like that because I love the shirt it was because like I said I we didn't make that much money uh, my parents didn't make much money so I got left out a lot of stuff that I wanted from the series and then um, I found a shirt I wanted and I grabbed it and it didn't cost me a dime eventually the, the shirt gave up on me uh, there was just simply too many holes and slowly it started falling apart so for me just to be patching it up it looked silly so it got to that certain extreme that I decided you know what I'm just gonna cut off the map and I'm gonna have it mounted on the wall so sadly throughout the course of from California to Texas um, some stuff was left behind and I used to remember I, I told this guy that I used to have this small box this 8 by 6 by 6 box really small size shirt um, size box and I had all my stuff in there related to Jurassic Park uh, anything that was invaluable to me like super valuable even though there was no how should I put it? even though it wasn't that expensive for me it was very 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 it had a lot of sentimental value so once I arrived to Texas and we start putting stuff around uh, setting stuff around I found out that my box didn't make it um, it was left behind and um, slowly but surely I had to go buy stuff here and there uh, I saw some shirts uh, some retro shirts from Jurassic Park and I found one that it's the one that I used to wear a lot but the thing about vintage shirts is that they're not that conveniently cheap as it was back then like maybe you know maybe fifteen twenty dollar shirt but now because of its uh, because it's now more of a collectible because of the brand because of its condition you know that shirt that fifteen twenty dollar shirt could cost as much as almost a leather jacket like a authentic leather jacket so yeah I mean I'm not going I'm not willing to spend my entire fucking paycheck for just to you know go back to nostalgia so I just have to be patient and hopefully I could find one so moving on uh, there's also a ticket pass to uh, Jurassic Park the how it would look like if it happened in real life a three-day pass for five hundred and fifty dollars valid on consecutive days not for resale hmm. well that's interesting yep well I'm about to lose my ticket I was about to lose my ticket. Okay, so according to this, it says your purchase includes transportation from Costa Rica to Isla Nublar via ferry, three nights at our five star Isla Nublar resort, one tournament of golf. Oh, yeah, because you know, everyone loves golf. Free admission to select 3D showings. 
and 25% off discount on all food and merchandise. Okay, that definitely yes. I maybe one day all this would be mixed with dinosaurs and Jurassic Park collectibles. So here we have a lanyard, and it says here just simply Jurassic Park. It's not as awesome as the one that I have that I bought from uh, eBay. I ordered it a while back, but I saw it on uh, Hot Topic like maybe three or four days. No, it, actually maybe about a month before uh, Fallen Kingdom came out. And I was thinking about waiting it out until it got cheaper. Of course, the thing about waiting it out sometimes is that it's gone. So then you have to go for other uh, for other um, what do you call it you have to seek for other uh, vendors how should I say or other connections to finding what you're looking for so uh, we're gonna put this on the side for now I'm gonna save that for last okay here we have the Jurassic Park 18 exclusive trading cards. Now, I remember that they had the Tops edition when this movie came out. Okay. And uh, once again, I missed out. So uh, it looks it looks really cool. They have it has this little vintage um, look to it. Each one has his own little dinosaur, and if you turn it around, it would have its own little information. What dinosaur is this? I don't even. The Mata. What the fuck? The Mata Bura. The Mata Burasaurus. See, I didn't know that dinosaur existed. See, I, I need to. I need to retrain what I've learned from the past, you know, and, and just keep going at it. So, so, see, we got more of these ones. Oh, the giant pteranodon! Excuse me. Look at that. And it feels, it feels like, 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 like a real train cart. There's my baby. Wait a minute. What the fuck? T-Rex doesn't even look that badass. Oh, come on, guys. You couldn't do it. I mean, it looks cool, but I, I think I, they're trying to give it that low. See, because I was expecting something like this. You know, but I, I, I forgive you guys. So, yeah, I'll definitely going to put this right here. And, oh, wait a minute. Is this, does it come with a little... No, there's no sealant on it. You know, you just tuck it in. Can you tuck it in? No. You know what? I'm not going to tuck it in. I'm just going to leave it like that. And so then we got a couple of stickers. We got the T-Rex sticker. We got Mr. DNA sticker. See, this is another character I want to cosplay as. Yes, but I'm still thinking about how to do it. So, uh, I'll, I'll figure out a way. And then you got the uh, trademark logo in the pin so look at that look at that I was expecting to be a bit bigger but uh, I don't know I actually have blue the raptor I sometimes wear it um, when I'm going out on formal attire I didn't wear it for the wedding because I I was too focused on the wedding for my sister so yeah And then we have a Mr. DNA pin. Okay, and then we have some greeting cards. Okay. Got one from the T-Rex Kingdom. See, this is passable. This should have been better off on the trading card. And then you have the 
isla nublar okay and then you have the VIP viscera badge see this is this is definitely something I would wear uh, when I'm doing see here's the thing I should have worn this I should have worn my my Jurassic Park lanyard that I had that I bought from uh, uh, from eBay, I should have worn that when I was doing Jurassic Wars. So, yeah, um, yeah, I'm learning a lesson. Learn your lesson. Okay, and uh, that's what we have here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, this is the one thing that I saved for last. Okay, well, it's like I don't want to. I'm gonna gently put it in there. Okay. Now we have something. I have something really cool. It's the when dinosaurs rule the earth banner. See, this is something I want to put on my wall right there. I think I don't know if I should if I should get the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis uh, wall scroll lowered just a little bit and then have the label right the banner right there and then have these or maybe take these posters off and then or wall scrolls and then put them right here right next to my kite and put my kite somewhere else because I would like to have this banner on top I want to have this banner on top and then have some extra shelves and put all my dinosaurs right there on display to make it look badass to make this look more like a like a secret lab of showing all these cool dinosaurs but that is still a thought so we shall see how that goes okay so that is pretty much it um, like I said it cost me $58 um, I think you can still get it while it's you know while it's still available because um, they, they do have the they do have the uh, what is that word they do restock but it does take some time and sometimes when they do pre-orders they go off they go out pretty quick like uh, they had this um, this Game of Thrones Werewood uh, goblet looks really cool looks really uh, well detailed but the problem is it got sold out while being pre-ordered but they'll have the chance to restock it's never like a you snooze you lose type of thing now they'll they'll get a chance to restock them but the thing is that you do have to wait a little so I mean unless you're really patient and optimistic uh, I say go for it if not then I say you better get that card real quick uh, so that's pretty much it I I really enjoyed everything. I really did. Um, minor fit. I mean, not even a minor fit, but just a little, little issue. And it's only a pen. Just I wish that T Rex uh, trading card was a little bit more, uh, or was a bit closer to the one that I've seen in the movie. So, but that, that's that's my opinion. That's it's not. It's no big deal, but uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed everything. It it really does make me feel like I'm going back to uh, to my younger years. Um, I'm planning to order the Jurassic World one uh, maybe soon. It like I said, it's a lot cheaper, but I'm not sure what stuff they do offer. I know it's there. I know what they offer. But I want to know as to why this one is like this one is like fifty eight dollars, 
and that one's a lot cheaper made because this one's the original one it's like saying you know here's an action figure of the Star Wars trilogy a sequel trilogy figure and then we got the original one you know the old school one so I think that's probably it but uh, uh, one way to find out is when I pay the goddamn thing so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions please leave them comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.